Let's move now to KwaZulu-Natal and newly, newly elected Premier Namusa Dube Ngube wasted no time today appointing new MECs, making changes to her executive council. Four new members will be serving for the first time in the province. Sibunisa Duma is the new MEC for Economic Development, Tourism and Environmental Affairs, as well as the leader of government business. Meanwhile, former Premier Sitla Zikalala will take over as MEC for Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs. ENCS senior reporter Sipa Mandagoge has been following that story and he joins us now. So Sipa, this is so interesting. We've got a former Premier essentially demoted to an MEC but still has a job, so that's something to be grateful for. And Sibu Niso Duma, who's the chair of the ANC in the province, so the real power potentially behind the throne, now getting into the provincial government, which makes one wonder uh, if he's gunning for premiership at some point, if uh, they win KwaZulu-Natal in the next election. Probably in 2024, yes, but for now he says he's not interested. Remember when former Premier Sikhez Galala resigned, Siboni Sotuma is one of the ANC officials in Wazuru Natal who said, please do not consider us, we don't want to become Premier. He says he's too junior to become Premier for now. He doesn't have the experience to run the executive. He has never been a member of the executive council. He's been a member of the provincial legislature in Guazul Natal as the chair of chairs. But he says, well, for now, he still needs to get more experience. He doesn't know how the government works, if we were to put it like that. So I think up until 2024, he will not be availing himself to become premier. He has said so in the past openly, which then paved the way for Nomusa Tubengube to be nominated and elected premier of Wazuru Natal because all the officials of the ANC in KZN said they were not yet ready to become premier. So yes, Sikhe Zigalala makes a comeback as Kokta MEC. He took over from Sipotlo Muga who has been moved to transport. But Sikhe Zigalala did tell ENCA about a week ago that he's willing to serve in any capacity. The only thing he did not want was the premiership because he had lost political power. He felt that he was going to become a lame duck premier. He is no longer part of the provincial executive committee of the ANC in Wazuru Natal. Without political power, he was really going to struggle because he needed to report to the ANC each and every decision he takes. So he felt that, well, it's time to allow the new leadership to take over, make way for them. But he said he was willing to serve in any capacity. I think he's one of very few leaders in South Africa in terms of ANC politics who have literally taken that direction to say wherever the party deploys me, I will go there. He told me during our one-on-one -on -one interview that even if the ANC says he must become the chairperson of a portfolio committee at the legislature, he was willing to take that. So it's not surprising that he's been appointed Cocta MEC in Guazulu Natal, which by the way is a serious portfolio. If you look at it, there are more than 54 municipalities in Guazulu Natal, but that's one component of the department. It's cooperative governance and traditional affairs. He will be dealing with a very difficult stakeholder within the institution of traditional leadership in the province of Wazul Natal. For that position, you need someone very senior who will be dealing with the Zulu Royal House and more than 300 Amakosi in the province of Wazul Natal. So to some people, they may say, yes, that is a demotion. But if you look at the seriousness of that portfolio, it's a very busy and serious portfolio in a sense that too many things are happening there in terms of service delivery and issues of traditional leadership in Guazul Natal. The ANC was clear that they want to retain him. They need his expertise and skills in the administration, you know, in KZN. So it's not surprising that today he was announced or appointed as the MEC responsible for COCTA. Let's take a listen to both him, that is Mr. Zigalala and Mr. Siboni Sotuma when they were appointed today. I see Zigalala swear that I will be faithful to the Republic of South Africa and will obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution and all other law of the Republic. And I undertake to hold my office as a member of the Executive Council of the province of KwaZulu-Natal with honor and dignity to be a true and faithful councillor 
not to divulge directly or indirectly any secret matter entrusted to me and to perform the function of my office conscientiously. I, is Boniso Armstrong, do must swear that I'm faithful to the Republic of South Africa and will obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution and all other law of the Republic. And I undertake to hold my office as a member of the Executive Council of the Province of Azul Nadal with honor and dignity to be a true and a faithful counselor, not to divulge direct or indirect any secret matter entrusted to me, and to perform the functions of my office consistently and to the best of my ability. So help me God. It was interesting yesterday when the Premier was appointed, all the opposition parties were saying the economy is absolutely crucial. I mean, if you think what KwaZulu-Natal has been through, um, never mind the pandemic which affected us all, but the July riots, the flooding, it's absolutely top priority. And she did seem to sort of hone in on that issue today, didn't she? Indeed, I think the gist of her speech today was mainly about that she touched on that issue of economic growth in Guazul Natal, which will lead or translate into addressing socio-economic challenges in the province. But let's just rewind a bit, go back to what, you know, Siboni Sotoma said when he was, of course, you know, appointed the MEC. One of his major tasks will be in that regard in terms of rebuilding the economy. He will be responsible for economic development, tourism, and environmental affairs in Guazul Natal. He becomes the leader of government business, a very senior post. When mm -hmm. the premier is not available, Siboni Duma will have to step up and act as the premier of Wazuru Natal. But it's not for the first time that ANC chairperson in KZN is sworn in as just an MEC. In the case of Mr. Duma, it has happened before with Mr. Sikhezigalala himself. When Willis Simkunu was the premier, Sikhezigalala became the MEC responsible for the very same portfolio that Mr. Duma occupies now. Of course, in 2019, Sikhe Zigalala went on to become the premier when Willis Simkunu left. But also in other provinces, if I'm not mistaken, in Pumalanga, the current chairperson of the NC, the Mandlandro, who is the Cocta MEC, there is another premier. In the Northern Cape before, if I'm not mistaken, John Block served as the chairperson of the ANC, but he was the finance MEC, not the premier. Free State Ace Mahashule was not the premier, but the provincial chairperson of the ANC see for a very long time but coming back to Wazur Natal no Musa Tubengube saying her administration will have to focus on the very same issue of economic growth in the province. Let's take a listen. Our people are suffering out there. We need to deal with the issues of poverty, the issues of inequity in the economy um, to also ensure that uh, the job creation and working with all the social partners become um, our priority in rebuilding the economy um, and creating the decent jobs for our communities in Guazulu Natal. We need to strive to ensure that our people in the rural areas, in the townships, um, really do get to benefit from um, the work um, that the government is doing. Our strong focus will be um, directed into unlocking opportunities available through the integrated government investment, infrastructure development, targeting and the implementing um, the radical economic transformation programs um, across um, all the corners of our province. All right. Well, thank you very much for bringing us the very latest from KwaZulu-Natal. That's ENCA senior reporter Sipamandla Goge.